Meteorologist Mark Nelson joining us with our first alert weather now. Okay, time to pull out the trash can wind gauge. Yeah, it was windy today. Windy, and you live, we don't need your exact address, of course. Right, I live in southeast Portland. Generally south, southeast, yeah, yes. so you're uh, exposed to that wind coming out of the gorge. Some if some folks, you live out in Forest Grove, up in Clark County Battleground, you're like, I don't get, I don't get much of that east wind, but if you live out, you know where you live, if uh, you get this stuff all winter long, east of I-205 especially, out towards the west end of the gorge and tomorrow's going to be tonight and tomorrow will be probably a bit windier in those areas so we'll go level three that's down the street if they're empty oh, now wow. if you have them packed full of very hefty garbage <laughs> probably not going to go anywhere right yeah if you're you know getting rid of some uh, old dumbbells for example right because that's 50 pounders often. yeah because you put those in the garbage <laughs> or maybe can. just leave them out there i guess maybe. yeah or maybe put the dumbbells away. out there and then take them out anyway yeah uh east metro easterly gusts 30 to 40 tomorrow a little bit stronger than today out there look at that beautiful view Chinook Winds Beach Cam. This is all week long. It's going to be just like this, folks. We don't see any big changes. The weather we had today pretty much sticks around probably through at least Saturday. Uh, temperatures right around 50 at the beaches. Warmest temperatures in the cool season now tend to be at the beaches in this setup. Notice it is breezy Vancouver east, 14 gust into 24, and you see some of the bushes blowing around here, so it's a chilly evening walking around on the waterfront. Uh, two more stops, or do we have three? This is from our Willamette Valley Vineyards camera in South Salem, uh, South Salem Hills, and you can see that breeze blowing down at Dayton family estate camera there. Uh, what is it there? It's 49 degrees there. Northeast wind gust into 22. All right, so the next change, we don't have one coming up the next few days, but we do see rain returning next week. That's the next thing. And in my head, I see like all the leaves on the lawn. I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to wait for them to really dry out with this east wind until about Friday, Friday or Saturday. Then I will mow because I know it's going to rain right after that time. So you should have some confidence. We go back into the rainy pattern. We think up, if not Sunday, Monday. All right, other than that, uh, there is no change. So sunny all week, frosty mornings in the calm areas, well down in the 20s. Uh, easterly wind, wind will be with us all week. And of course, again, that's strong as East Metro. I'll explain coming up in the next segment why we tend to get that during the cool season. But in the upper atmosphere, a big blocking ridge of high pressure. It's sending cold air from the Arctic down into the middle and the eastern part of the country. It strengthens the next few days, then backs off a little bit, but it's still there Saturday and Sunday. Watch what happens after Sunday, though. It's out of here. And then here comes that westerly jet stream and the cooler temperatures overhead. And this tells me we're back in a rainy pattern for at least the first part of Thanksgiving week. Not sure about Thanksgiving, but for the first part of the week. So clear and cold tonight, windy east metro. And that means for the kids in the morning, bundle them up because it'll be 30, even though there'll be a little bit of sunshine starting to poke out. But uh, yeah, it's sunny and breezy in the afternoon. Notice no cloud cover the next few days. Just uh, the only cloud cover will be east of the Cascades in that cooler air over there. So sunny all day tomorrow. I don't think we will have any fog here in the metro area. I think that's pretty unlikely. Frosty in the calm areas, uh, 20s out in the outlying areas. It'll stay above freezing where it's breezy. East winds gust to 35 on the east side of town. Temperature in the low 50s again. Next three days, more of the same. Wait, there's more. Nothing really changes the next three days, but really nothing changes the next six days. Upper 40s to low 50s for highs. Overnight lows in the calm areas down in the 20s, warmer where it's windy. And then the next chance for rain, if it doesn't rain late Sunday, it'll be Monday. And that's, of course, just three days before Thanksgiving.